Hey everyone, uh, we have a 2012 Holden Commodore here um, with a 3.6 litre direct injection SIDI um, engine. Um, now this engine, uh, common on these engines, um, the timing chains would wear out prematurely. Um, so this one here we've actually just done the timing chain. Um, so there's three chains in, in total. There's this chain here on the left, bank one. Um, bank two chain on the right and then we have our main crank chain that goes around two guides which attach to our upper chains down there so um, timing marks um, on bank one we have an arrow you'll see there I've actually marked them with twink it's good to mark them with twink because it's if you get that mixed up the timing is going to be out so on each pulley on the top you're going to have an arrow and you're going to have a dot okay on bank one which is the right hand side here, you, it is the arrow, okay? And that needs to line up with this chain link here, okay? So I've marked it here, there's one here, one here, and you'll see the dot, we don't line that up on this bank, okay? Um, on the other side, we have the same thing, we have an arrow and a dot. Now this side, I've marked it with twink, we line the dot up with the chain link, okay? So on bank one, the arrows line up with the chain links, on bank two, the dot lines up with the chain links, okay? Um, down below here we have our guide pulleys okay now you'll see down here there's usually a factory mark on this outer one that it connects to this um, bank one chain um, so you can just see down there see that's lined up I'm, it had a factory mark on it but I I uh, went over it with twink um, as well okay so it's nice and easy um, and also too on this side we have um, so basically the pulleys are back to front on each side. So on this side you'll see it's this way, the small the small pulley is on the outside. On bank two, um, the small pulley is on the inside. Okay. Now there's basically on these two guide pulleys there's two timing marks on each side you need to check. The main one is the one that I've that I've marked, you can see on the outside. And if you look through that hole there, you can see the chain link lines up with the hole. Okay. Um, so there's no timing mark on the small side of the pulley, it just lines up with the hole. So that the chain link, you can see, if I'm looking looking through the hole, chain link's there on that, um, on the bank two chain, okay? Um, and then on the front pulley, on the crank chain, you can see that this one here lines up with that factory mark that I was talking to you about. Um, on this side, we can't look through the hole like the other one, we can just, if you look down there, you'll see, um, you'll see the, um, the link lines up with that with that hole and if you were to look through the hole on the other side we can't because it's on the other side but if you look through the hole um, it would be lining up just like this side okay so we've timed all this up that's great and then our crank just has our timing mark down here it's a factory dot which lines up um, with that chain link okay so as long as you've got those chain links lined up where they're supposed to be you should be fine um, we the bank two chain was relatively easily easy. Same with the crankshaft chain, but however, the um, on the bank one chain we were fighting the valve springs over here a little bit. So you'll need to get someone to help and hold the camshafts in the right place when you're trying to get the chain on. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and this is a video on the um, timing marks, timing chain positions on a 3.6 litre um, Holden Commodore. 2012, um, this engine is probably used not only in Holden Commodores, it's probably used in various types of General Motors um, over in the US as well. So um, if you've got one of these engines, this particular engine is actually an LFX engine, which is a 3.6 litre SIDI um, direct injection, but as I say, this engine is probably used in a variety of other makes and models that, um, uh, with, that are made by General, General Motors. Okay, thanks for watching.